something just occurred to me. Now first, sometimes I'm guilty of not coding everything with Jesus loves you. Now, he does love you. He came and died for you to save you from our sin. However, you know, John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. But if you read all the way down to the end of that chapter, it says that if you don't believe in Jesus, then like Glenn Kaiser says, that's trust in, cling to, and rely on. Now, the devils believe and tremble. That's in the Bible, too. Even the devil believes, okay? But to really believe in Jesus, not like the devil, but like a follower of Jesus, means to follow him, to give yourself to him. To submit to him because he loves you because he created you the end of, of John 3 says that if you don't believe in him if you don't follow him etc that the wrath of God abides upon you That's right there with John 3.16. For God so loved the world. Yes, he did. Yes, he does. He loved you so much that he paid for your salvation with the horrible death of his perfect son. And Jesus went willingly. But if you reject that, the wrath of God abides upon you. Now here we are in America with a church on every corner and my goodness if you don't have a Bible you could get one from a truck stop real cheap from a, every drug store real cheap if you really don't have one you just somebody will give you one I'm not kidding go to the trucker's chapel at a truck stop they'll give you one if you see me well, I, I would run out if everybody asked for one. But if you see me, I'll give you one. Here we are in America. With a church on every corner. And Bibles everywhere. And manger scenes all over the place once a year, more or less. And still after Roe v. Wade has been stomped on, thank God finally we still have abortion clinics all over the place, that's going to continue for a while I would sure like to see that change but we'll just see in America with churches on every corner Bibles laying everywhere Preachers on TV, whether they're for real or not, the word they preach, if they're getting it from the Bible, is real. Jesus said you must be born again to see the kingdom of God. That's right there in John 3 still. You see, Jesus is the issue. Some dummy in a truck in the middle of the night, hello, or in a $10,000 suit on TV, <laughs> not me, or, or, or whoever is not the issue, Jesus is the issue, and what we do with him regarding our sin, Jesus is the issue, and if you lived in America, with all the advantages we have. Now, maybe a few really haven't heard, but if you lived in America with all the advantages we have, and Jesus all over the place, and you wind up in hell because you rejected him, I'm sorry, you know, I, I, I feel sad that, that anybody misses heaven. I really do. 
But if you rejected Jesus again and again and again and again and again for what? The average human lifespan now is what? 70 years or something? You rejected him again and again and again. Guess what? I got a real hard time feeling sorry for you. Now, I hope you get saved. I hope you come to Jesus. I really do. And it, and it hurts me that, that people will reject him and will miss heaven. But, no, I don't know. Maybe it's some unforgiveness I need to work on. But hell is a real place where people who reject Jesus are going. And if you heard again and again and again and again and again, and you reject Jesus again and again and again and again and again, I wonder if anyone should really feel sorry for you. In, in the final evaluation of things. Sinners in the hands of an angry God. Uh-huh. Jesus loves you. Get a grip on it now while you still can.